Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to split the text according to the delimiter. And over here, we have three delimiters. First is a comma, second is spaces, and third is hyphen. And uh, we will convert them into different columns. Like we will move all of these values in different columns by using the method text to column. So it really saves a lot of time when you have hundreds or thousands of rows with same delimiter. So it can be comma, it can be hyphen, it can be a slash, it can be a word, it can be number, it can be anything, but it has to be consistent in the complete content of your document. So yeah, once that is clear, and if you have identified the common delimiter, then all you have to do is just uh, apply the text to column. So in the LibreOffice, you just have to go to data. And here we have this option text to columns. So click on that and uh, over here we are seeing different things you can ignore most of that uh, the focus here is separated by what and here we have this comma if you haven't selected any of these then it will show all of the values in same like single cell but the moment you choose comma uh, it will just split into different columns so if you click on ok then you can see that the values now are in different columns. So this is exactly what we wanted. Now let's try doing this for, for these two cells. Go to data and text to columns. And here again, we have to select comma because uh, these are separated by commas. So click on it and the value is splitted and all these new values are in different columns. So this is exactly what we wanted. Now let's try doing this for for delimiter, which is space in this case, uh, again, select the columns and then go to data and click on text to columns. And here we can see these are no longer separated by comma, but spaces. So to uncheck this one, but click or select this one. And the moment you will click on, okay, these values now will be split into different columns. So this is exactly what we wanted. Now the third case is when we have uh, hyphens, all these values are separated by hyphens. So hyphen is the delimiter in this case. Uh, select the cells, go to data, and uh, click on text to columns, but uncheck this one. And uh, here we can not see hyphen. So what we'll do is we'll just press or select the hyphen here. You just have to type it down. And once done, it is already showing the preview that all the values are now separated into different columns. So click on OK and we can see that the values now are in different uh, columns. So this is exactly what we wanted. Um, so main advantage is that if you're having huge amount of rows, but you want the values to be split into different columns. So let's say if you are having the instance wherein we have, let's say the name Danielle and Chen and you are you being a marketeer, you have huge amount of uh, data of uh, email addresses and uh, first name, last name, but they are joined. So it will be a full name. So let's say full name and uh, we can have different names like John, Matthew, and then we have Bill Clinton, Donald Trump. Yeah. So let's say we are having these four names and since this is full name, we want to convert into first name and last name. So if you want to split it, you can just go to data and click on text to columns but here since it is separated by spaces you can just select uh, space and uh, for your mailing list you can have the first name and last name so this is uh, very helpful when you are having a large amount of data and you want to split according to some delimiter and the use case can be anything let's say you're preparing uh, the email list or wherein the names of the recipients are in the joint form so first name and last name are inside the field full name and you want to split them into first name and last name. So that is very useful in this case. Thanks a lot for watching our tutorial. In case you liked it, please leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel.